Welcome hockey fans inside Bern Arena in Arebro, Sweden, as we get set for this afternoon's matchup featuring Arebro and HV71. For the puck drop on the first period of play here inside Bern Arena, and obviously the fans here tonight or this afternoon would love to see their team come away with a big win. Scramble draw to start is two players, four players, still tied up at center ice, but coming away with it now is Dylan Reese as he'll play up this one up through neutral ice, and now Figuren played it up along the left side. Quick slap shot by Thornburg and right off the bat, nice little flash of the glove there by Arrow Kilpelainen as he's able to hold on for the stoppage. Thornburg getting the first shot of the game very early on, just 13 seconds elapsed. Face off coming to the right of Kilpelainen. Stenlin can't win that one back as a Raber move it out to neutral ice. However, Lawrence Pilot coming away with it. So play this one to Thornburg. Thornburg firing that one to the opposite corner, figuring can track it down. Coming away with it is Tom Wendell. However, this puck is taken back by V71 in their own zone, and now Stenlin retreating back into his own end. Play this one back behind the net is Wentzel leaving there for Lawrence Pilot. Pilot from behind his own net, still looking to start out. Pretty good crowd here in Burn Arena as well. Not a lot of empty seats, that's for sure, as this puck finds its way all the way back into the Arebro zone. We're trying to send that one to Anton Benson. However, coming away with it now is Eric Anderson as he plays this one behind the net for Oscar Sun. Sun pestered there by Alexander Hellstrom. Now to the top of the circle, that one launched just wide of the net from the blue line. Play purposely wide off the end boards, trying to come away with it. He gets sent head first into the boards, but right back to his feet as this puck is taken away now and moved out. Off the boards to Spink. Spink into the offensive zone, trying to cut to the front of the net. Sends that one off the side of the post. Now it's Tyson Spink. Trying to put separation between him and the defenseman, but the defenseman doing a good job keeping him to the outside, not letting him cut to the front of the net. Puck in the corner now is collected by Matthias Tedenby, sent back to the half boards. However, Arebro able to send it out through center ice no further as it's turned right back into the offensive zone by HB71. Taking part check along the inboards there with David Gustafson as this puck finds its way to the slot and ripped up high. Gustafson back to Matthias Tedenby. Tedenby back to her pass, looking for the shot, and he just hesitated for about half a second too long, which gave Kilpelainen opportunity to get into position that could have been a goal had he let that one timer go puck now pinned against the boards in the corner they were able to fish it out and they're send it back behind their own net before you check playing this one off the glass and all the way down the ice he should work it back the other way however that's out of the river of aids wanstrom and so Rebro move it back the other direction in the offensive zone now is wandell Wendell to Salonen. Salonen moves that one up and Luxinetti rings it around the boards. However, Salonen able to hold it in. No, he's not. As that one comes outside the line and Arepo forced to clear the zone, which gives HV71 some time and space to start out. All final of them starting out from their own zone now. Stocking up his lance from him. Play this to the left side. Through center into the offensive zone fairly easily. Sharp angle shot. Purposely wide of the net. Off the end boards and collected in the corner. Sent back down low. That one is collected by Ables. Eagles playing this one up along the right side. Gets it back now in the neutral ice into the offensive zone. Nice little move. Trying to center up front and a shot right on. And that one looked like it just came off the shoulder of Wenzel. Arebro with their first real opportunity of the game will move it back the other way. Now from the circle. Playing it back to the line of Spink. Long shoot in or long shot is easily steered aside there by Wenzel. Now Tyler Spink from behind the net, battling against the inboards. Tyson Spink now, his twin brother, able to come away with it from the half boards. Has his stick lifted, but still with possession of the puck, he's able to send this one in deep to Vixton. Vixton playing this one back to the line. To Hellstrom. Hellstrom with the shot. And Wenzel with the save as he holds on for the stoppage. With just under four minutes elapsed here in the first period, HV71 at the moment controlling the majority of the play in the offensive zone, but over the last minute or so, Arebro's had a couple of good opportunities on that. And here you see Tyson's been cutting to the front of the net, and that one actually looked like it came off the side of Wenzel. Originally thought that came off the side of the post, but Spink with a good opportunity. There was a little bit of daylight there for him to sneak it past, but Wenzel making that one a 
like I said, looks like right in the side of his midsection. Now back to the line. This one's sent right on. Slapper by Victor Bartley is held on to by Pedersen Wenzel. Face off to the right of Wenzel. And this will be whistled dead. We'll get a do-over as David Gustafson is going to be shown out of the circle. Pretty good contingent of HV71 fans here today for this game in Arebro. Back to the line. Elstrom lets the shot go. Hits a body up front. The flex back behind the net. Coming away with it now is Marcus Weinstock. Weinstock along the inboards. Can't track that one down as Edgel will play this one up to his own half boards and now gets it back. And rather banks in. And now this is going to be a slashing penalty coming up against Cerebro. And so they'll go to the box for the first time. It's going to be Libor Hudacek going sitting for two. But like I had mentioned in the pregame, their penalty kill at the moment, fourth overall in the league at 84%. And HB71's power play has not been great so far this season, 12th to overall with just 16% efficiency. But it's a good opportunity either way for HV71 to take the early lead here in the first period as Martin Thornburg lines up to take the face off. Faced up against Gustafson. Gustafson able to win this one back and carried it by Anderson. And now sent all the way down the ice to start this one from HV71 zone. Wanstrom, nice cross ice pass. However, that one can't control it was Edgel as he deflects that one up into the stands and the faceoff will come out to the neutral ice. Just 15 seconds elapsed here on the man advantage. HP71 control at center. He'll look to move this one in softly off the boards and now deep into the corner. Five players along the inboards trying to come away with it. Edgel can't get there, however, as Arebro trying to move this one out. Not able to as Wanstrom battling in the corner. Now to the half boards. Back to the line. Held in there. Now Thornburg leaving there for Stefan Elliott. Elliott getting himself in deep. He'll play this one around the boards over to Thornburg at the far point. Thornburg trying to send that one in. However, it deflects off one of the Arebro players. And HB71 forced to clear the zone. They're right back in, however. Elliott with the slapper. And he'll blind him with the blocker save. Wanstrom now along the half boards. Aggressive penalty kill here from Arebro, and it's working out for them so far. And you can see why their fourth overall in the league for penalty killing is in the very aggressive style, not giving HV71. Ooh, and that was very close to too many men on the ice for HV71. Matthias Tedenby now with some moves in the offensive zone. Puck finds his way back to the line to Reese. Reese over to Pilot. Pilot back to Reese. Back to Pilot. As the two defensemen play pass at the blue line. Almost looks like a passing drill at the moment as Reese and Pilot pass back and forth and a shot right on. Is steered aside by Kilpalainen and Bankson trying to track this one down, but it comes back to Reese at the line. Now Ulster playing it down low to Tedenby. Back to Ulster. Ulster. Down back to Tedenby. Tedenby, nice little move around his man. Loses the handle though, but gets it back. Back to the line, uh, a little too softly, however, as the is able to poke that one out. And with the final second sticking down on the man advantage, we'll get back to five on five action. Ulstrom played this one over to Pilot. Pilot with the shot, that one goes wide. Throwing that one to the far side, however, it's intercepted by Pilot. Sent back into his own zone, however, Dylan Reese was on his way to the bench. So, hustling over there was Bankson to collect along the half boards. Bankson playing this one to Brandstrom. Brandstrom in the corner. He's turned back. Out in front of his own net. He'll reverse behind the net and start out once again. Now he's got a bit of time and space as he sends this one up the ice. Just offside, however, was Oscar Sun. Does play his whistle dead for a stoppage with 13.07 remaining here in the first period of play. HV71 with a decent power playoff opportunity. They got a couple shots on net. But like I mentioned, uh, Arriba with a very aggressive style of penalty kill. Especially in that first 60 or 65 seconds or so, really didn't give HD71 much time in the offensive zone before they were right on them. And we saw that long stretch between Reese and Pilot just passing it along the blue line, waiting for the shooting lane to open up, which eventually did, of course. But 
Kept lining with a couple of good saves to keep this one at a scoreless tie. And now this will be an icing call going against a Raybro. So it'll come all the way back into their own zone. And the Spink Brothers, their first season across the pond is they really haven't played this high level of hockey before as they were playing in the ECHL previously, which is the East Coast Hockey League, the lower tier of professional hockey in North America. However, they've adapted quite well and have been playing pretty decently for a Raybro this season, given the fact that it is their first year here in the SHL. As Tyson Spink has eight goals on the season. And this puck finds its way to the far half boards. Martin Thornburg trying to play it in deep. It's intercepted, and Tyson will play this one up the ice. And now Tyler trying to move it through center. Not able to, however. As Robin Figueren pursues against Hellstrom. Hellstrom playing this one to the half boards, and now cross ice pass to the empty side. And this one is played over to the corner. Now Victor Bartley through the neutral ice. He'll gain the blue line. Bartley finding himself in deep. He'll play that over to Tom Landell. However, it's a bit of a bounce off the end boards and able to play with Stenland. Figuring playing this one in deep. He'll go for a change as Tedenby pursues into the corner. Pitching down low there was David Gustafson. He tries to get this one away. However, Arabro able to move it back to their own blue line. Now out through the neutral ice, carried into the offensive zone by Manon. And Manon and getting tied up with the referee, still with possession of the puck, however, as this puck finds its way deep into the HV zone. Now coming away with it is Stefan Elliott, who plays this one all the way down the ice, and taking it back is Victor Eckholm. Dylan Reese in his own corner takes a check there from Marcus Weinstock. Lawrence Pilot giving it up to Weinstock now as Weinstock controlling at the half boards. Back to Victor Ekbom. Ekbom lets the shot go. Big rebound off the end boards as that one bouncing dangerously out front of the HB zone or HB net. Over to the half boards. Moreno still controlling in the offensive zone. Ekbom from the line. Playing this one into the corner to Weinstock. Lawrence Pilot, the other number 20, coming away with it. But now Weinstock takes back in a quick shot right on. And Pedersen Wenzel flashes the glove as he holds on for the stoppage with 10.46 remaining here in the first period. And so Arebro with a good stretch of sustained pressure there. I believe this shot was probably going wide of the net. It certainly was. Either way, Weinstock, or not Weinstock, rather Wenzel, he will hold on for the stoppage. I've talked about it before. I love his style of glove play as he get, has a very classic look when he makes those glove saves. Now Brandstrom from the corner. Bengtsson. Up to Olstrom. Olstrom, or rather, Anderson, stapled against the end boards as Araver are able to move it back the other way. The Spink brothers into the offensive zone. Tyler with the, or rather, Tyson with the shot. Gets a body out front, and Anderson will play this one up to Bankson. Bankson loses it at center ice, and Anderson gets it back at his own blue line. Just out of the reach there, Martin Thornburg as Araver plays it back to center ice. Away with it is Tom Landell. Landell still with possession of the puck and heads up play there by Sakari Manon and not to touch that puck before his replacement. Oh, and a big hit along the end boards. And this is going to draw a penalty. That was Yuri Salonen against Dylan or against Mark Zanetti. And Zanetti down on the ice looks to be all right. We'll have to see how this, what the result is here. And Mark Zanetti looks to be okay. Doubled over on his way to the bench, though. He'll get checked out by the trainer. And so a bit of physicality getting into, into entering this game. We'll take a look now at the stats through the first half of the first period. Shots on goal pretty evenly matched, five to four in favor of Arebro. Missed shots are three to one in favor of HV71. Hits are two to one in favor of Arebro. Faceoffs also pretty evenly matched, five four in favor of Arebro. And one power play opportunity so far for HV71. However, they're going to get another opportunity here as Gary Salonen will sit in the box for at least two. Referee's discussing what to do about it right now. 
Got some score updates for you. As for London, Malmo locked at a 1-1 tie. Lynn Schoping with the 1-0 lead over Lulio and Brinas with the 1-0 lead over the Lakers. As we get set to resume, Mark Zanetti remains on the bench. Looks to be all right, so good news there for HV71. Second power play opportunity for HV. This one controlled at the line by Elliott. He'll let this one go. Tip just wide by Figueren. As Thornburg able to collect in the corner, he'll play it to Edgel. Edgel for Figueren. Figueren back to the half boards and now back to Stefan Elliott. Elliott over to Thornburg. Thornburg back to the line. Now to the top of the circle. He'll play this one down low. And on the doorstep, Edgel just spans on that shot attempt. And the puck comes all the way back out to neutral ice. However, moved right back in as Thornburg rips this one around the boards. Collected along the half boards by Wanstrom, or tried to at least, as he's able to get it back now. Wanstrom walking this to the corner. Now to Edgel. Edgel off the boards, back to Thornburg. Thornburg back to Edgel. Edgel looking for the backdoor pass, but a nice little poke check there by Alexander Hellstrom. Breaks that up nicely. And now a uh, shorthanded opportunity back the other way by Arebro. As... Tom Wendell playing this one to the corner. Figuring trying to get it back. He's able to play it to Edgel. And HV back in their own zone with 56 seconds remaining on the man advantage will look to start out. Into the corner now. Matthias Tenby around for Kevin Stenland. Play this one back to the line to Reese. Reese with the shot. That one tipped right on by Matthias Tedenby. Now this one back to the line and all the way back down the ice with just 30 seconds remaining on the main advantage for HV71. Lawrence Pilot looking to start out of his own zone. Stretch pass up the ice out of the reach of uh, Ulstrom, however. So this is going to be an icing call going against HV. And this faceoff will come all the way back into their own zone. And there you see the tip out front by Figuren just kind of catching it with the end of his blade. Or uh, the heel of his blade, rather. And just sending it wide. Face off coming to the right of Wenzel. Spink Brothers on the ice as Tyler can't win that one back. HV will start out. Stenland into the offensive zone. Trying to get the shot away, however. Fans on the attempt and coming away with it in his own zone is Dane Todd. And this one is lifted all the way down the ice, and that'll do it for the man advantage. As we're back to five on five action, HB71 0 for 2 on the man advantage so far in the first period. Now center right up front to Salonen, fresh out of the box, and he sends that one off the shoulder of Wenzel. Able to get it back though as he plays this one to the half boards, and now Wandell playing it down low. Back to the line. Quick shot right on as one of the Arivera players tied up. Looked like Salonen tied up with Wenzel out front. Not too sure if that one would have counted had it gone in. Pinching down is Wicklander as he plays this one down low. Comes to the front of the net and now out to the circle. Good forecheck here by Salonen as he's able to hold this one in. Now Sakari Mannon in. Back the other way by HV as they send this one deep into the Arebro zone. Seven minutes remaining in the first period. Flipped into the HV zone and went some way out of his net to glove that one down, not taking any chances with it. He'll hold on for the stoppage with 6.51 remaining here in the first period of play. And you see Wenzel talking to the referee there as he got tied up with Salonen out front of the net, and that's probably what he's discussing with the ref. And there you see a beautiful opportunity for Salonen right out of the box. And a good elbow save there from Wenzel. Now Arebro controlling in the offensive zone, playing this one down low. Cole pulling it to the backhand, and Wenzel with a glove save. My goodness, he's able to hold on to that one, but Wenzel continuing his great play between the pipes here this afternoon. And a great opportunity by Marcus Weinstock, allowed to walk right to the front of the net completely unchecked. And looked like he had a good opportunity to score. But Wenzel, not a glove save rather, but just the left pad save as Weinstock wasn't able to get that one up in the air as much as he maybe would have wanted to, or maybe he was trying to go five hole either way. Wenzel with a great save. Now Figuring playing this one cross ice to Stenland. 
Stenlin into the offensive zone. Nice little move around the defenseman. Still with possession of the puck, and he lets the shot go just wide. Stenlin with some good moves to walk around a couple of defensemen and give himself a good chance to score. Now Raybro will gain center and fires it into the empty corner. They'll go for a change, and so lots of time and space here for HV71 as Thornburg plays this one up to Figurin. Figurin trying to feed it back to Thornburg. However, it's out of his reach. And coming away with it in their own zone is Arebro. As Backstrom. Bring that one up to Tyson, or rather Tyler, as Tyler plays it deep, but Arebro forced back into their own zone now. Backstrom from his own end. Up through center, play to Tyler Spink. Now in the corner, battling for it is Vixton back to the line. And Backstrom lets that shot go. Looked like it hits, hit Vixton out front, didn't find its way on target. Throwing this one cross ice and now into the offensive zone just out of the reach of Tedby as that one came off the end of his stick and Raybro able to take it back. Hellstrom playing this one over to Gustafson. Now up to Tyler. Tyler turns around, plays it back to Hellstrom. Hellstrom with the long shoot in off the end boards and ties Tedby at his own half boards. Can't boot that one out. Marks and Eddie back on the ice for HB71, so good news there. Quick shot off the side of the net. And now over all the way to the half boards. HB71 trying to work this one back out through the neutral ice. A couple players down on the ice. Looks like they're on top of the puck. And so the referee will whistle it dead with 4.55 remaining here in the first period. You see Libor Hudicic and Libor Hudicic. Eric Brandstrom battling it out behind the plate. Yeah. Raybro trying to work this one into the offensive zone. They'll play it in deep. Brandstrom first there to receive the puck. Is he taken away from the puck? However, coming away with it is HB71 is Anderson working this one into the offensive zone. Looking for the tip out front. He found it off the stick of Benson. However, that one finds its way wide. Bingson now with the poke check. Now to Anderson with the wrist shot. That one whistles up high. Oscar Sun from the corner. Trying to center out front. Arebro able to take it back along their own end boards as Wandell. Playing this one off the boards. Jumping for it. He's able to hold it in. Arebro hollering for a hand pass. However, no whistle on the play. So we'll continue with just over four minutes remaining here in the first period. Check coming away with it. Nice stretch pass up the ice to Joachim Anderson. Anderson to the high slot to Hudacek. Hudacek gets himself in deep. Can't sweep that one towards the net. However, good poke check there from Landstrom. And now shot right on, and Wenzel with the glove save once again. It's Anderson with a nice shot. Wenzel, great with that glove, is able to hold on. 3.41 remaining here in the first period of play. Both these teams have had some good chances. Fairly evenly matched period so far. Face off coming to the right, Wenzel. HV71 through the neutral ice, now through center. Taken back in his own zone, however. He tries to play that one out, but Edgel is able to force it into the corner. Edgel on the end boards. Hartley now playing it up to the blue line and all the way back into the HV zone. Throwing that one cross ice, it deflects up and over the glass and into the stands. And perfect example, you always got to keep your eye on the puck whenever you're at a hockey game. That one left the ice surface with some velocity. And trust me, it's not fun to get hit in the head with a with a puck. <laughs> Three fourteen remaining here in the first period. Still a scoreless tie. Raybro looking to start out of their own zone. Back and forth behind his own net. He'll send this one up the ice now. Stretch pass, nice little drop pass. Into the offensive zone is Tyler Spink. However, he loses the puck and it comes all the way back into the Raybro zone. This is going to be an icing going against HV71 with 2.52 remaining here in the first period. 
like I mentioned, pretty evenly matched first frame so far. HV71 with a couple of man advantages, not able to take advantage of the man advantage, however. As Rose for best power play in the league, or penalty kill in the league. We're going to have some four-on-four -four action here. Just seven seconds into the man advantage for HV71. It's going to be Kevin Stenland, I believe. Going for tripping, or perhaps hooking, but either way, we've got ourselves some four-on-four -four action to finish the Matthias Tenby as he sends this one up through center to Alstrom. Alstrom to Reese. Reese trying to turn it, return it to Alstrom. Now back to the line to Tenby. Tenby over to Thornburg. Thornburg with the shot. Kilt the line in with the save. Tenby able to recover from the bottom of the circle. Trying to sweep that one on net. Not able to as Tyson is able to come away with it. And he'll play this one to Anderson. Anderson from his own zone will look to start out now. Sending this one up to Vixton. Vixton cross ice pass. That one is swept in deep to throw in particular, so Dylan Reese will come away with it. Final minute of play here in the first period. From behind his own net, Bankson will play this one, or will carry this one through the neutral ice. Bankson coming to the high slot, now to the top of the circle. He'll walk back to the line. Letting the shot go, that hits a body out front, deflects up into the meshing for a stoppage with 44 seconds remaining here in the first period. 51 seconds, a four on four remaining, so that will carry over briefly into the second period, and then Arebro, my calculations are right, will have a seven-second man advantage. Face-off coming to the left of Kilpalainen. Arebro able to come away with it as Hellstrom retreats behind his own net. Hellstrom playing this one to Joachim Anderson. Anderson. Backstrom. However, that one's gloved out of the air and moved back in by Bankson. Bankson now from the half boards. Played to Brandstrom. Brandstrom. Bankson picks it back up. That one is intercepted. Moved back the other way. Nice little accepting of the pass there. However, he gets taken down. And Raybro with 10 seconds remaining will move this one back into the offensive zone. Nice moves out front. Can't cut to the front of the net. Still with possession of the puck. Back to the slot. Let's the shot go. And Robin Figueren with the nice block at the on in the final seconds of the first. Blocked at zero. Like I had mentioned, pretty evenly matched first frame here inside Burn Arena. 
as both these teams exchanging good chances. Shots on net 9-6 to six in favor of Arebro, so fairly evenly matched there. However, I would say Arebro probably had the majority of the best, better chances as they had two or three good chances in that first period, HV71 with one or two of their own. However, both these teams obviously would probably want to come away with more shots on net, especially HV71 with just six registered. However, like I mentioned, fairly evenly matched first period, or despite the fact Arebro getting themselves into a bit of penalty trouble. Missed shots on net, or missed shots were 7-2 to two in favor of HV71. Hits are two apiece, so not a super physical game at the moment. Faceoffs were 12 to 8 in favor of HB71. Three power play opportunities, one of which, of course, only lasted about seven seconds long before we got some four on four action. And just two power play shots registered by HB71. So that's a testament to why Arebro is currently rated fourth overall in the league when it comes to penalty killing. We saw it there in the first period. They did a very good job, despite the fact that HB71, especially on that second power play, were able to get set up and move the puck around the zone very well. Arebro did a good job keeping them keeping them to the outside and not allowing those shooting lanes to open up. So I think Arebro's got to be happy with that first period of play and especially giving up three power play opportunities. I think they've got to be happy if, that they're coming away with the 0-0 tie heading into the second frame. Four on four action to start this second period. Very brief four on four action before a very brief Arebro power play. As we are underway here in the second, as the 4 on 4 will expire, and look at that, it was right. Seven second power play opportunity for Rainbows. That shot finds its way right on. Once he'll able to steer that one aside, we're back to five on five action now. As a Rainbow trying to work this one back the other way, but fresh out of the box was Kevin Stemler to poke that one away, but Salonen able to take it back, and now Sakari Mananen playing that one back to the line. Now from the dot, lets the shot go. That one up high, hustling over to hold this one in. Nice hustle there, he's able to hold it in. That was Victor Ekholm. However, HV are able to move it back the other way into the offensive zone, cutting to the top of the circle as Stenland. He leaves the puck there as the puck finds his way into the corner now. I'm just thinking of Dane Todd, who brings it around the boards. Saladin playing this one to Mandanin. Mandanin, cross ice pass. Doesn't fly, fly its intended target, however. As a Rayburn work it back the other way. down and out and that would have been an empty net basically an empty net goal with Wenzel on his side at the right of turn back at center ice by Bankson now coming away with it is Oscar Sun as he tries to cut to the front of the net but he's taken out of the play this puck finds its way all the way back in the HV zone. Heads up play there as he sends Libor Hudacek in deep. As Hudacek beats out the icing call. Banks it along his own end boards, pinning it against the boards. And sent hard into the boards there was Marcus Weinstock. Puck finds its way back to the line and now all the way back out to center. Libor Hudacek playing it over to Victor Bartley. up to center. Can't handle the hot pass, however, as HB turn it back. Victor Barkley now in his own zone. It's deflected way up in the air. Launched by Arebro as this one finds its way through center. No further, however, as it's turned back the other way. Now Arebro coming away with it as they send this one all the way down the ice. This will be an icing call, however, going against Arebro. Now we'll have a stoppage with 17, 15 remaining here in the second period. And a high stick right there. And it looks like it goes undetected by the referees. Face off to the left of Kilpalainen. Rebro moved this back the other way, all the way back into the HV zone. It's going to be another icing call going against Rebro, however. And here we 
received a great opportunity out front. It was just a little bit of a poke check there by one of the HV players as he gets his stick on it right there. It was Stefan Elliott just getting enough of it to send it up and over the stick in the slot. Otherwise, that would have been a bit of a tap on the roll. Like I said, either a nice passing play or maybe a deflection is what it's going to take to beat Wenzel, and they almost had a nice passing play there. Now in the corner. into the offensive zone, centering out front, lets the shot go on that one, up off, off the end boards, and now they bang it home. A lucky bounce off the glass, finds the back of the net, off the stick of Sakari Mananin. Well, I said nice passing play or deflection, but I forgot about the lucky bounce. And Sakari Mananin opens things up with his fifth of the season. A two-on-one opportunity back the other way. And Mananin with the initial pass and then the shot way up high from Salonen. As the two Finns combine for the opening goal. And HV back into their own zone. Pilot controlling, playing this one up to his own blue line and now up to Kevin Stenland. However, this is going to be an offside call against HV71, so this base off will come in the neutral ice. And good hand eye coordination there as well by Sakari Mandanin as that was a puck was a few inches off the ice and he just bats it home. But it almost looked like the way that puck went to the wide, wide of the net, it almost looked like it caught the edge of where the boards meet the glass, and that's why it popped up and over the net. And so a bit of a lucky break for Arebro. And they get the opening goal. Behind their own net, they'll look to start out. Stopping up there is Anderson as he fires this one up the ice. All the way down to the HV zone. Wenzel from out of his own net. Playing that one to Branstrom who's taken off the puck, but now it finds its way to Thornburg. Thornburg cross ice pass, bouncing over the stick, however, of Bankson, or rather Ulstrom. And Arebro look to play it back out of their own zone. Having some trouble here, though, is Gustafson. A good forecheck forces them back in deep, and now thrown up to the blue line, out to the HV blue line. Branstrom. Ted Beaver that misses him, so Arebro looked to work it back, and now no call on the play there, as that looked like it might have drawn a hooking penalty, but we'll continue five on five. Flipping this one all the way down into the corner. The way with it there is Christopher Person as he plays this one up the ice, and now Tedby into the offensive zone. Tedby from the top of the circle, letting the shot go. Easy save from Pitt Linen. Now Ulstrom back to Tedby between the legs. Tedby still with possession of the puck. He'll cut behind the net. Now stops up and works it back to the corner. Now behind the net once again. Now trying to sweep it right on target. As the puck finds its way back to the high slot. Can't get the shot away as the Rainbow trying to work it back the other way. The Spink brothers and Helstrom back through the neutral ice. Or rather, Vixton. And now this one finds its way to Stefan Elliott, who will start out from behind his own net. Long pass up the ice finds its target as this one. Not slapped in deep, however, is Marebro coming away with it in their own zone. Man or Salonen or Mananen. And it over to the far side. Pass up through the neutral ice, finds its target into the offensive zone. Salonen, Salonen with a nice little drag move through the legs of Stefan Elliott, and he'll let the shot go right on the doorstep, looking for his second of the game, but he can't quite get good contact with it as he'll play this one to the corner. And now. Wendell back to Salonen. Salonen to the high slot. Let's the shot go, and that one hits a body out front. Now Mananin with the fan on the shot attempt. And now this is going to be a penalty coming up against Arabro, I believe. As Wendell touches up, and HV71 will go back to the man advantage once again. And like I mentioned, Arabro need to be a little bit more responsible. Or my mistake, it's going to go against HV71. 
figured it would be a rig rose. They had possession of the puck when the whistle was blown. And you see Topi Akla getting his stick right in the midsection of Mananen, or rather Salonen. As Arabra will get their first real man advantage of the game. They technically have one, but it only lasted seven seconds. Shot right on, and Wenzel able to make the save, as that was a dangerous-looking wrister from the blue line. But Wenzel able to track that one down and squeezes with that left, uh, left arm and holds on for the stoppage. Jonathan Anderson with a wicked-looking wrister. Face off coming to the left of Wenzel. Stenlin lining up for HV71. Arebro able to control off the face off, and Anderson will control at the blue line. Now to Hudicek. Hudicek to the circle. Now to the top of the opposite circle, letting the shot go. That hits a body out front, deflects up into the meshing. I believe it came off Thornburg as he sprawls onto the ice to get his body in front of that one. Or no, it looks like Wenzel had a piece of it with his shoulder. Or no, it came off the top of the crossbar and straight up into the meshing. Face off to the right of Wenzel. Clean win back to the line to Anderson. Anderson winding up, can't find the shooting lane. He'll play that one over to Vixton. Vixton now back to a pass to Hudicek as that one just in his skates could have swept that one home, but he wasn't able to control it. And now Arebro forced back into their own zone. Kilt the line in, playing this one over to the half boards. However, HV will send it right back in. Now Jonathan Anderson starting out from his own zone. He's tripped up and on the doorstep of his own goal. And HV71 keeping Arebro in their own zone. However, they'll break out now. Through the neutral ice, into the offensive zone, skating along the blue line. Now finds himself in deep, playing it back to Libor Hudicek. Hudicek over the top of the circle. That one hits a body out front of Flex. Right to the slot as HV are able to collect and send it all the way down the ice with 53 seconds remaining on the man advantage. From behind the net, he'll look to start out. Playing this one up along the left side, through center. Firing this one into the corner. As a Rebro. Force back out through the new, to the neutral ice. Now coming away with it is Dane Todd as he'll send this one up along the left side. He'll gain center and now the blue line gets it back along the half boards. Trying to center this one out front. Back to the corner. Now back to the top of the circle. Let's the shot go. Hits a couple bodies out front and doesn't find its way through. Coming away with the now is Gustafson. Back to the line with five seconds remaining on the man advantage. Dane Todd from the high slot. Let's the shot go. Hits a body. And a flex up into the meshing. Just one second remaining on the man advantage for Arebro. Or now three seconds remaining on the man advantage for Arebro. So clean face-off win might give them one last opportunity before we're back to five-on-five five action. Face-off to the right of Wenzel is won by HB71. And we're back to five-on-five five action is this one. Good sense off the glass up into the meshing, or not even off the glass. So this is going to be a delay of game penalty going against Dylan Reese. And so right on the heels of that previous man advantage, Arebro will go right back to the power play. And so it's HV71's turn to spend a couple minutes in the box, just like Arebro did in the first period. And just getting a little bit too much of that. Trying to send it off the glass. Sends it right up into the meshing. Now back to the line. Top of the circle. He'll walk this one back to the line, trying to play it down low. Now back to the line to Daniel Vixton. Vixton from the half boards. Back to the line to Mastamaki. Mastamaki over to Weinstock. Weinstock playing it down low. Rather, Weinstock has it now. He'll send it back to Libor Udicek. Udicek over to Mastamaki. Able to hold that one in. He'll play for Vixton. Vixton from the half boards. From the circle. Now, Igor Hudicek can't get the shot away. Battling in the circle. Trying to put that one on net, but Thornburg able to come away with it. He'll lift this one all the way down the ice. To kill off some time on this man advantage for Arebro. Through the new 
choice. Turn back to center, however. And his master Mackey coming away with it in his own zone. And trying to put that one right on net off the end boards, but it comes off the side of that. Trying to center it, comes all the way back to the line. Dane Todd, who plays it over to his defensive partner, who plays it down to the circle. Todd able to get it back at the line. Dane Todd from the top of the circle, playing this one down low to the corner. However, bounces over his stick, and HB71 able to play it to the line, but a good hold at the line there by Linus Anderson. Now Dane Todd back to Anderson. Anderson from the top of the circle lets the shot go, hits a body and deflects to the corner. Playing this one down low, HB71 able to come away with it, and they'll lift this one all the way down the ice. Pull off some extra seconds, but Arebro quickly turning it back the other way, Salonen it into the offensive zone. As he runs into the net and knocks it off, it's Moorings will have a stoppage with 15 seconds remaining, and this faceoff will come outside the zone. Oh, Salonen trying to muscle his way to the front of the net, but the defenseman just holding him off. And we'll take a look now at some stats through the 30 minutes or so that have been played. Shots on goal are 12 to 8 in favor of Arebro. The shots are 7 to 4 in favor of HV71. Less than physical game, just five hits total. Three for Arebro, two for HV71. Faceoffs are 15 apiece. Power plays are three apiece. Power play shots are two apiece. And both teams with 100% penalty killing at the moment. Score updates for you is for Lunda and Malmo locked at two. Lynch Shoping giving up one in the second period as Lulio cut, it, cut their 2 0 lead down to one. Marinas with the 2 0 lead over the Lakers. And we'll make sure to keep you updated on those scores as the afternoon goes on. As the Raybro controls in the offensive zone, that one deflected up high and gloved out of the air, sent right on by Tyler Spink. And a good save there by Wenzel as his brother Tyson comes away with it. Tyson playing this one. Now back to the line. No one hits a body up front. We're back to five on five action as Dylan Reese steps out of the box. He'll join this rush as this puck finds its way wide of the net. Not coming away with it. This person, however, he gets tripped up. Figuring. Walking this one in low. Quick turnaround, sharp angle shot finds its way wide of the net. Back to the half boards and now back to the line. Stephen Elliott. Elliott with a nice little move to open up some space for himself. Elliott with the backhanded attempt right on. Rebound out front. Bouncing puck in front of the net. Finds its way back to the line. Anderson firing this one over to the far side. Now Stephen Elliott with the shot. That one. Big rebound off the end boards. And pitching down low now is David Gustafson. However, taken away by Tyler Spink because he'll lift this one down the ice. Trying to blow that one out of the air was Gustav Franz and not able to. However, as HG turned it back the other way into the offensive zone is Alstrom, Alstrom to Tedby, Tedby, Alstrom on the doorstep, and somehow that one stayed out. Killed the line and down on the ice. He's got to get back up quickly. He's lost his stick as Dylan Reese sends this one towards the net. Tedby looking for the redirect, but deflects it to the half boards. And now coming away with it is Arebro. Some fast and furious action there in the Arebro zone as HV71 looked to tie things up. Now Glenn Gustafson. From behind the net, one hand on the stick, trying to fight off Lawrence Pilot, but Pilot able to angle him off the puck. And now in the corner, this one finds its way to the half boards. Over to Tedenby. Tedenby from the neutral ice, now through center. No one poked away from him. Playing this one into the offensive zone, and Abel's pursuing along the end boards. Dylan Reese hitting it along his own end boards now. Moving away with it is Lawrence Pilot. Thanks it. Now back up to the blue line as Benson will catch up with this one into the offensive zone. Benson will drag, move, trying to center up front for 10B. However, it's taken back by Arebro and moved out the other way. Nice moves by Libor Hudacek as they've got a 3-1 opportunity now centering out front, but that one hits the stick of Dylan or of Stefan Elliott with a great defensive play to deny them that opportunity. And now Salonen sending that one on. That one blockered out of the air and sent into the Arebro bench with 7.23 remaining here in the second period as both these teams seem to kind of turned it on a little bit in the last couple of minutes. And there you see Ulstrom with Kilpalainen's five hole wide open, just sending that one off the left path. Oh. 
Face off to the right of Wenzel. One back to the line by Rebro. Saladin playing, or rather Bartley playing this one in deep. Now from the half boards. Play this one back to the line, all the way back out to neutral ice, so Rebro will, will be forced to play the zone. Now two Rebro players getting their signals mixed. However, it's going to be an offside call going against HV71 with 6.59 remaining here in the second frame. Rebro on top by a score of one to nothing as they look to snap their five-game losing streak here at home. Face-off coming in the neutral ice. This one won back all the way back into the HV zone as Dylan Reese play it off with the headboards over to Lawrence Pilot. Pilot cross-ice pass finds its target. Angel can collect at the blue line, however, as Arabro send it back the other way. Pilot, now to Reese. Reese. Played in to the far corner there by Svenningsen. Now a sharp angle shot right Allen killed the line with the rebound save as well. As he'll hold on for a stoppage as Edgel with a sharp angle shot looking to tie things up here in the second period. Faceoff coming to the left and killed the line. from behind his own net. Long pass up the ice. And I got to agree with the fans here. I have no idea why that was called icing. As Tyson Spink clearly way ahead of the defenseman to win that icing race. And he's got some words for the linesman. Perhaps it was offside. That's the only reason I can see the whistle being blown is because he was offside because there's no way that was icing so perhaps it was an offside call which would make sense as this puck finds its way into the corner now Holstrom playing this one a person person with a clean look at the net looking for the tip out front or finds its way wide of the net and the Spink brother is able to come away with it into the offensive zone, centering out front for Tyson as he gets dragged to the ice. Now we've got a penalty upcoming here to HB, and not a fan of that call is Matthias Tedendy as he shows a bit of frustration. And he'll sit for two, so Arebro will go back to the man advantage with 5.51 remaining here in the second period. And it's been a bit of a tale of two periods when it comes to pa penalties, as Arebro took three in the first. HB71 takes three here in the second. Off the faceoff, Dane Todd back to the line. Bartley, Bartley back to Todd. Todd now in the circle. He'll walk this to the half boards. Turns around. Manning it, trying to send it back to the line. However, it comes all the way back into the RA Bro zone. Dane Todd will play it one, back to the corner once again to Salonet. the offensive zone is Arebro and centering right up front and he looked to get a little bit too fancy with that one probably should have just taken the shot tried to get the tic-tac-toe play together but that one didn't quite work out for him from behind the net Arebro will look to start out and that one to the far corner pursuing there is Vixton However, able to come away with it, he fires it all the way down the ice into the Arabra zone. Now Vixton coming away with it, he'll drop for his defenseman who starts out. Carrying through the neutral ice, he'll drop as well. Into the offensive zone is Lehor Hudicek. Hudicek making moves up to Vixton. Vixton with the shot, that one deflects wide of the net. Now Hudicek 
trying to catch up with this one. However, Bankson first there, but Hudicek with a nice stick lift keeps his play alive in the offensive zone. However, this puck will be forced back into the Array Pro zone now as he's got 18 seconds remaining on the man advantage. He'll just slap this one all the way down the ice and it's stopped up behind the net by Kilpalainen. The stick of Wenzel as he deflects that one up into the meshing. We're back to five on five action as Matthias Tempe serves his two minutes and Arebro not able to capitalize on the man advantage. And there you see that play from Salonen. Probably should have elected to take the shot, tried to just tip it to Maninen. However, it was just a little bit out of his reach or a little bit too close to him actually, in fact, as in between his skates. HP71 will fire this one back along the right side. Now Holstrom centering out front for Tedby. Can't get a good shot away, however, as this puck finds its way back to the line. Able to hold it in is Mark Zanetti. This one gets swept in deep for Holstrom. Holstrom now from the corner, centering out front, taken away by Arebro. Zanetti standing on the deep shooting attempt. However, Holstrom able to come away with the goal important back into the offensive zone. Off the boards for Elliott. Elliott sending that one towards the net, but it hits a body out front. Spink is able to come away with it. Tyson will play this one softly into the offensive zone, hustling to catch up with it. Two bodies come together hard in the corner, but Stefan Elliott comes away with it. Long pass up the ice between a couple of HP players. Neither of them able to accept that one. into the offensive zone. He's got an opportunity. Backhanded shot as he couldn't quite get away. A great shot for Wenzel. Still forced to make the save. Behind the net, playing this one all the way back to the line to Salon or Mananen. Mananen fakes the shot, playing it to Salonen or to Hellstrom, who sends that one wide of the net. Now Salonen against Edgel. Gets this one up, trying to walk to the front of the net. Backhanded opportunity right on, and he scores. All right, bro, take the 2-0 lead off the stick, I believe of Mananen once again. And just able to walk out front. And it is Mananen again with his second of the game. As he gives Arebro the 2-0 lead here in the second frame. You'll see he'll pinch down from the line. On the left of your screen, then he goes to the inboards and just he intercepts that one and nobody in front of the net for HV71. He's able to just walk out front and put a, a backhander right between the five hole of Wenzel. And you see Wenzel trying to give him a poke check, but just not able to get it away from him in time. And this is going to be an icing call going against Arebro with 2.14 remaining here in the second frame. And so Arebro setting themselves up nicely for the third period. If they can hold on to this 2-0 lead and carry it into the third frame. They'll give themselves a pretty good chance to come away with their first win in six games. Clean win back to the line a little too cleanly, however, as it comes all the way back in the HV zone. Going to from his own end, stretch pass up to center. Into the offensive zone, sharp angle shot. Took the line and easily able to glove that one out of the air, and he'll hold on for a stoppage with just over two minutes remaining here in the second frame. Two nothing, the score in favor of a of a Raybro as they've got a pair here in the second. Face off coming to the left of Kilpalainen. the net, Gustav Backstrom will control. That one's sent into the HP zone, and it's going to be another icing call going against Cerebro. Second period of play as Arebro forced back into their own zone as it's controlled by Oscar Sun. Now Abel's able to come away with it. And 
Now they've got a two-on-one opportunity back the other way. Trying to center that one out front, but a good defensive play breaks that up. Still able to get a shot away. And now this puck finds its way back to the line. Saladin with the shot. That one whistles wide. Pinching down low is Dane Todd as he plays it to the end boards. Todd getting it back along the half boards. He'll play it down low, or tries to play it down low. Planning on that attempt, however, as it's pinned against the boards now. And the puck finds its way into the corner. Bill and Reese. Size pass doesn't find its target coming away with it is direct ball as he sends it back into his own zone now. The railroad trying to turn it north. Tyson Spink, or rather Tyler Spink, in the offensive zone gets some help now from Dixton. Dixton from the corner back to the line. This won't get played in low for the Spink brothers. However, it's out of the reach of both of them as Dylan Reese's first to arrive at the puck. Now Tedby carrying out through the neutral ice. Over to Figuring, Figuring. Trying to play that one back to Ted B. However, he's tied up in front of the net. Gustafson now. Playing it to Ted B. Ted B. Also, also back to Ted B. And on the doorstep, that one cleared away from danger. And now that one deflected just wide off the stick of Gustafson. Taken down along the half boards. The fans hollering for a penalty. They're not going to get it, however. As this one is played down the ice by Hillstrom. This is going to be an icing ball going against Cerebro with just eight seconds remaining here in the second frame. And so, clean face-off win might give HV71 the one last late opportunity here in the second. As Saladin, or rather Mananin, Sakari Mananin with two goals here in the second period. Now Cerebro on top by a score of 2 to nothing. Face-off coming to the left of Kilpalainen. Stenland lining up against Spink, clean win back, shot fired off the body and deflected into the half boards. And with time ticking down, that's going to do it for the second period of play as you hear the buzzer. And so Arebro with the 2-0 lead heading into the third period will have a great opportunity to break this five-game losing streak. And if they keep up the kind of play they've had so far, they'll definitely have a good chance to come away with the victory here tonight. Shots on net in that second period, six apiece. So neither of these teams, even in the first period, getting a whole lot of shots towards the net. And HV71, obviously, we'll probably be talking about that in the second intermission. Getting some more shots on Kilpalainen. And just hoping for a rebound out front or perhaps a lucky bounce, as we saw Raybro get a lucky bounce for their first of the game. And HV71 will probably have that in their game plan to get some more action towards the net. Missed shots were 6-5 to five in favor of HV71. Hits were 4 nothing in favor of Arebro. Also winning in the face-off circle, 14-8. to eight. Four power play opportunities for Arebro. However, just three power play shots and no power play goals. And so 100% penalty killing in that second frame for HV71. Full game stats now through... Two periods of play, like I said, not a lot of shots on net for either of these teams. 15 for Raybro, 12 for HV71. Miss shots are 13 to 7 in favor of HV71. Not a very physical game either. 6-2 for Raybro for hits. Faceoffs are 22 to 20. Pretty evenly matched there for Raybro. Power plays, 4 for Raybro, 3 for HV71. Neither of these teams able to capitalize on the man advantage, so both of them with 100% penalty killing. As we are set to go here in the third period. Controlling the puck is Victor Ekbo. He sends it over to his defensive partner as this one gets swept in deep. HV will look to move out of their own zone now. Cross ice pass to Lawrence Pilot is that one thrown towards the net. However, it hits one of the Arabro players out front and deflects into their bench. And that was Thornburg, not Pilot, taking that shot. As this faceoff will stay in the Arabro zone. 5,500 people taking this one in in Burn Arena. Pretty good turnout for a Saturday afternoon here in Arebro. All, well, probably not all 5,500 of them, but a good portion of them hoping to see their team come away with the win here tonight. As we saw earlier in the crowd, the HP 71 has got a pretty good contingent of fans here as well. No worries, Pilot playing this one up to the half boards as this one gets sent cross ice. Robin Figurin, however, leaving the puck behind, has to retreat back into his own zone as he plays this one back to his defenseman. We'll get it back now at center and moves this one into the offensive zone, letting the shot go. That one whistling up high off the glass and up into the meshing for a stoppage with 
just 52 or 48 seconds elapsed here in the third period. Face off coming to the left to kill the line and clean win back to the line to Elliot. Elliot over to Yakula with the shot. That one just played wide of the net as Rabro work it back the other way. This one will be sent in deep by Jonathan Anderson. Tyson Spink sending his man to the end boards, but HV still able to move this one up to their own blue line. And now out through center ice as Steph. to the controls. As the 71 able to get a shot away. Our line and able to make the save and he'll hold on for the stoppage. This much. Oscar Sun with the sharp angle shot. He's off to the left of Kip Linen. Now along the half boards, this one will get played out through center to Lawrence Pilot. As HP moves this back the other way, Banks then over the left side. Let's the shot go and it looks like Kip Line and just got a piece of that with his glove. Pilot pitching down low, can't control the puck as Brabro moved back the other way. Up the line by one of the Arabro defensemen. My goodness, HP 71, an inch or two away from bringing, bringing this game back within one. What a play. It didn't quite catch who the defenseman was there. I have a feeling it might have been Yuri Salonen. We'll have to take a look at the replay and when we get a stoppage. And now from the corner, this one will get played up to the blue line. Carried it. I'm manning it. And then playing this one deep into the corner. That is Stephen Elliott as he plays it around the Robin figure. Now, Manon retreating back into his own zone. He'll play it to Salonen, who lifts this one down the ice. Randstrom coming away with it as he sends it back to his defenseman. However, it's turned back and intercepted by a rib rub. This brings
Vegas. He'll start out from his own zone, plays it over to Vincent. Vincent turning away from his man along the half forward as he pulled this off. Offensive zone now. Along the half boards, Victor Edgel will play it back deep into his own zone. Dylan Reese clubbing that one out of the air, and he'll play it to the far corner. As Edgel able to accept in the neutral ice, leaves the puck behind, however, and Arebro able to take it back. Over to Backstrom. Backstrom through center into the offensive zone, fanning on the shot, shot attempt. HP moving back the other way as Figurin trying to dance around his man, but he leaves the puck behind, and Arebro able to take it back. one off the boards intercepted however by Ransom. He had to wait to move into the offensive zone and now a rainbow back the other way they've got a possible two-on-one opportunity centering out front can't get a good shot away but he will draw the penalty as Brandstrom looks like he trips him up on his way to the net now some rough stuff after the whistle and Brandstrom getting the stick right in the midsection so he'll draw a hooking call and Arebro will go to the band advantage for the fifth time this afternoon. And so a good opportunity here for Arebro to extend that lead. And there you see finding iron. That's the second or third shot. That South coming to the right of Wetzel. Clean win back to the line to Anderson. Anderson playing this one over to Vixton. Vixton from the top of the circle. Playing this one down low. He'll get it back now. Back to the line to Anderson. Anderson playing this one over to his defensive partner and now to Vixton. Vixton still controlling. Forced back to the blue line. He'll sweep it in deep. Coming away with it is Joachim Anderson. Now back to Vixton. Vixton to Anderson. Anderson making the shot. In this one, now to the slot. Vixton with the shot. Wenzel with the save as he sprawls and he's down on the ice. Opportunity here for Arebro, but that centering pass, no one there for Arebro. As Wenzel with a great save keeps this game at two. Moving it back the other way now is Tom Wandell. He's stopped up at the blue line and trying to get it back against Stenland in set at center ice, but Stenland's able to come away with it now. Intercepted by Manninen. Manninen into the offensive zone. He'll play this one back to the line to Salonen, or rather Bartley. Bartley with the shot. Rebound out front, bouncing in the crease as the puck now finds its way to the corner. Back to line, and Bartley couldn't quite knock that one down. Out of his net is Kilpalainen as Arebro with an opportunity. Wandel from the slot, centering out front, and he just fanned. Did he fan on it, or did Wenzel make the save? Not too sure. That all happened so quickly, couldn't quite catch what happened, but either way, Arebro was still with possession of the puck as this one finds its way back to the line. Pace starts to pick up here on the man advantage for Arebro. Centering to the slot, lets the shot go. Wenzel with the right pad save as Salin or Manninen playing this one back to Salinen. Salinen from the half boards, now to the top of the circle, to the dot, dropping for Manninen. Manninen from the half boards, looking for the cross ice pass from the circle. Dane Todd with the shot, that one hits a body, gets it back, sends it back to the line to Bartley. Bartley to Todd. Todd from the top of the circle will play this one in deep and Wandell is able to come away with it as the penalty expires we're back to five on five action HV 71 will move it back the other way Robin figuring into the offensive zone drop for Branstrom fresh out of the box let's the shot go and what a glove save by Kilpalainen as this puck finds its way back to the line Stefan Elliott can't hold it in however as Tyson Spink playing this one back to his defenseman who throws it up to Tyler Tyler to Tyson Tyson into the offensive zone he'll stop up along the half boards plays this one in deep angled off the puck there was Gustav Franzen as as the puck finds its way to the corner, Franz and pinning it against the boards now with 10.47 remaining here in the third period as the pace really starts to pick up here in the third. And now to the high slot, letting the shot go. That one tipped just wide. Ulstrom coming away with it in the corner, but has his pocket picked by Tyler. Tyler Spink trying to center up front for Tyson. Tyson goes to the backhand and Wenzel with a great glove save. Somehow that stays out of the net. And HV71 are able to throw it down the ice. My goodness. Pedersen Wenzel sprawling to make that save on Spink. 
somehow keeping that out of the net. And Wenzel, despite the fact he's given up two goals tonight, continues his great play between the pipes. And my goodness, that was a prime opportunity. There you see another great save on Salonen on the man advantage. And my goodness, has <laughs> HV71 to count themselves lucky they're not down by more than two. As Friedrich Pedersen Wenzel has done all he could here tonight, and the only thing he can't do, unfortunately, is score goals, which he hasn't gotten any help in that category from his teammates. And there you see a, just another example of a great save, great passing play there by Arebro is Daniel Vixton. Denied by Wenzel. Now HV71 in the corner, centering out front, that one. Tipped up into the meshing by Glenn Gustafson as we'll get a power break and slow things down here in the third period. But that man right there, Friedrich Pedersen Wenzel, with numerous great saves here in the third period so far. A couple of good ones before the third period as well. Shots on goal 21 to 16 in favor of Arebro. So HV71 with just four shots on net so far in the third period. Miss shots are 14 to 9 in favor of HV71. Not a very physical game, hasn't been all game long. Six to five hits in favor of Arebro. Faceoffs are 28-23 in favor of Arebro. Five power play opportunities for Arebro. Seven power play shots, but none of them found the back of the net. Three power play opportunities for HV71 and no, op or no power play goals for them, of course, as they've been held off the board all night long. So both teams with 100% penalty killing at the moment. Got some score updates for you as Malmo with the 4-2 lead over Frolunda. Luleo with the 3-2 lead over Lynn Shoping as they've got, as they mounted a comeback, they were down 2-0. And then Brinas with the 2-0 lead over the Lakers. As we are back underway, less than 10 minutes remaining here in the third period. 2-0, the scores remains in favor of Arebro. Could easily be 3 or possibly 4-0. If it hadn't been for the play, if it hasn't been for the play of Patterson Wenzel between the pipes for HV71. Now Wanstrom playing this one over to Oscar Sun. Sun with the sharp angle shot. Kilt the line and easily able to glove that one out of the air. He'll hold on for a stoppage. Face off coming to the right of Kilpalainen. Dane Todd from the corner. And that one hits a player on the Arebro bench, so we'll have another stoppage, which I believe will remain in the Arebro zone. 9.25 remaining here in the third frame. Clean win back to Dane Todd as he controls in his own zone. He'll throw this one down the ice to Mananen, Mananen over to Salonen, Salonen over to Mananen for the hat trick and he scores. Mananen completing the hat trick and giving Arebro the 3 0 lead. Mananen with his third goal tonight. That's got to feel good. And Salonen and Mananen combining for, I believe, all three goals. And you see here, unbelievable hand-eye coordination there as he's able to knock it out of the air. Not only is he able to knock it out of the air, but he's able to do it without high sticking as he takes it off the blade of his stick just below his waistline, it looked like. And then finishing off that beautiful pass from Salonen, Mananen with a hat trick. Bartley now playing this one off the boards up through center and it gets swept in deep. the net, HV will start out of their own zone. Find this one over to Person. Over to Elliott. Elliott will sweep this one off the boards up through the neutral ice and into the array pro zone. Not very deep, however, as it gets played back out to center. Spink Brothers trying to play that one in deep. However, it comes back to their blue line, and now this one sent right on to Wenzel, who not taking any chance with that one in. Libor Hudicek giving Wenzel a bit of a snow shower after the whistle, and Person taking exception to that one knocks him to the ice. 
big smile on the face of Mannanen on the bench after scoring that hat trick. As Mannanen and Salon and the two Finns have been great together tonight. Face-off coming to the left of Wenzel. Glenn Gustafson from the corner. Dylan Reese now able to come away with it. He'll ring it around the boards. Pitching down low, however, is Alexander Hellstrom. Moving it back the other way, Victor Edschel into the offensive zone. Or rather, Eric Anderson, I should say. As Oscar Sund takes a check along the inboards, and this is freed up for Raybro. Big hit at the blue line as the helmet comes off, but moved back the other way by Cal Olson. And he'll play this one into the far corner. Now Olsen pestering Lawrence Pilot, but he's able to move that one over to Anderson. Anderson now pestered by Libor Hudacek as he'll reverse back to Dylan Reese. Reese reversing back behind his net as the Arrowboro fans really getting into it now. They've got the chant going as this puck finds its way all the way back into the Arrowboro zone. This will be an icing call going against HP 71. Face-off coming to the left of Wenzel. Stenland facing off against Anderson. Scramble draw collected by HB as Robin Figurin will start out from his own zone. Through center, will lift this one into the corner. Martin Thornburg can't come away with it. He will now, though, as Thornburg retreats behind the net. Now trying to center out front, but that one is poked to the corner, or poked to the inboard, back to the line now. Libor Hudicek able to reflect that one to the corner as Bartley playing this one over to the far, corner, far half boards as this one will find its way all the way down the ice, and this will be an icing call going against Arebro with 7-12 remaining here in the third period of play, and Arebro looking to snap that five-game losing streak, and they're looking pretty good to do that right now. 7-12 remaining here in the third period, so game's not over just yet, but a three-goal lead is going to be hard to come back from for HV71 at this point. So disappointed faces in the HV71 crowd there. Face off coming to the left of Kilpalainen. Now Matthias Tedby from the corner. On the circle, lets the shot go, that one. Sounded like it found Iron or perhaps off the glass as Tedby throwing this one towards the net, finds its way wide. Victor Edschel now from the corner will play this one back to the line to Tedby. Tedby firing it down low. There's no HB players there, however, so Arebo able to take it back as this one gets sent up to the line and now all the way back into the HB zone. Toki Yakula from his own end. Now Edgel. Edgel playing this one over to Stefan Elliott. Elliott up the ice into the offensive zone. Ulstrom coming to the top of the circle, letting the shot go. Hits a body out front. Trailer picks it up. Banks in with the shot. That one whistles just wide. Now Salonen. Matthias Tedby taking it back and retreats back into his own zone. He's taken down, however, and a shot right on by Mananen as he looks for more. Sakari Mananen looking for his fourth of the game. However, Wenzel equal to the task as he takes that one right in the midsection and holds on for a stoppage. And there you see Salonen with the assist on the first goal. And then Mananen, I believe this one was unassisted. However, Salonen right on the doorstep, you see him there. And then Saladin with the assist, primary assist on the hat trick goal as well. As the two Finnish players have had some great chemistry here tonight. From the top of the circle, lets the shot go. Wenzel with the glove save. He's able to hold on for the stoppage. Face off coming to the right of Wenzel. 5.59 remaining here in the third period. Time running out for HB71. Scramble draw, Dylan Reese retreats behind his own net. Now playing this one up to Figurin. Figurin at center. Taking off the puck, however, and Vixen is able to come away with it. Dylan Reese back in his own zone, collecting the puck. Oh, Vixen centering out front for Tyson. Tyson now. Corner. Tyler's taken off the puck. Intercepted and now from the slot, moving in all alone. Centering out front for Tyson Spink, but he can't bang that one home. As Tyler now in the corner, 
Trying to play it to Tyson. The Twins trying to combine for something special here as Bixton plays that one out front for Tyson. However, it's out of his reach as he plays it back to Bixton. Bixton now to Tyler. Tyler will walk to the corner. Back to the line. Heavy shot hits a body out front. Doesn't find its way through. Less than five minutes remaining here as Figurin moves into the offensive zone. Trying to pull that one through his own legs. However, gets it back. Now a centering pass out front. Kill the line with a great save. His best of the night. A great opportunity there for HV 71s denied by Kilpalainen, as I believe was Topi Yakula with the one-timer. And Kilpalainen with the great stretch of the left leg keeps that one out. And now out to center, Arebro still controlling the puck. Rodrigo Abel is playing this one back to his own defenseman. Is gets back now with center ice as he fired back into his own zone. Dane Todd hustling to catch up to this one along his own inboards. Victor Edschel able to come away with it. He'll play this one down low. Matthias Tedby now from the corner. Playing this one back to the line. Person letting the shot go. That one deflecting up high into the meshing. And we'll have a stoppage with 4-11 remaining here in the third period of play. But Kilpalainen with his best save of the night. We'll get another good look at it right here. Robin Figuring with the great cross-ice pass. And Kilpalainen, my goodness, the left pad save to keep that one out and that you know what Wenzel has had some great ones here tonight that one definitely could contend for save of the night though as Kilpaline it hasn't been forced to make many tough saves tonight as HV 71 hasn't managed a lot of scoring opportunities but that one certainly the best of the night for both HV 71 as far as scoring opportunities and saves as far as uh, for Kilpaline This puck finds its way out through center ice. Sit back into the Arebro or into the HV zone. Uh, Stefan Elliott playing this one behind his net for Person. Person loses it to Libor Hudacek. However, as Hudacek centers out front, Yuki Anderson plays this one back to the line. Heavy shot right on. Wenzel able to glove that one out of the air. And he'll hold on for a stoppage. 340 remaining here in the third period. Face-off coming to the right of Wenzel. HB71 able to control in their own zone. Figure and playing that one across ice, and they'll turn north. Intercepted, however, by Manadin as he plays this one back into the offensive zone. Thornberg now collecting the neutral ice and turns this one up ice. Deep into the offensive zone. He's taken out hard along the end boards. Kevin Stenland now from the half boards. Trying to turn away from his man. Who's now back from pestering him. However, he's able to move it now to Lawrence Pilot. Pilot, Hester there by Manon and Pilot with some nice moves, good stick handling. However, he loses handle on the puck and Figuren will play this one back into the Arebro zone. However, it's going to be an offside to leave against HP71. Either way, we'll have a stoppage with just over three minutes remaining here in the third period of play. Face-off coming to the right of Wenzel. Mixed in in the Spink Brothers out there for Arebro. However, Mark Zanetti is able to come away with it. And this one gets poked back to center. Zanetti following up on the play is able to send it deep into the Arebro zone. Matthias Tedenby slow to get up. Now Arebro with time and space will look to start out. looking to move out of their own zone. They'll be able to now as Ulstrom loses the puck and Rebro fires it right back on target onto Wenzel. 2.25 remaining here in the third period as HV running out of time looking to start out from behind their own net. Now this one back in into the Rebro zone. Fired in deep. Partly now playing this one. Abels, who plays it back into the HV zone. Not very deep, however, but he's able to get it back now as he pokes this one into the HV zone on the wrong side of center, however. So this will be a face-off all the way back in the Arebro zone for an icing. And the Arebro fans loving this here tonight. 
as their team looks like they're going to break that five game losing streak. Last time these fans got a win here at Burn Arena was back on November 16th and a heavy shot is blocked out front. And coming away with it is Cal Olson as he'll send this one down the ice. Lawrence Pilot able to come away with it. From behind his own net, he stops up and starts out now. Up through the neutral ice, through center, banks it, forced to the corner. Taken back by Brandstrom in the neutral ice as he tries to fire that one in deep. However, one of the HV players is tripped up in the neutral ice, and I believe this is going to be a penalty going against Arebro. And so with a minute 28 remaining, Libor Hudacek will be shown the box, and HV will finish this game on a power play, unless, of course, they are able to score. And there you see Hudacek going after the puck, but just chopping at the skates of Anton Bengtsson. Tripping him up at center. Behind the net, he'll play this one to the corner, and Arevo will fire this one all the way down the ice. And at this point in the game, Arevo probably not too disappointed to take the penalty, as now they have free reign just to fire the puck down the ice to try and kill off the last 90 seconds, or the last 70 seconds, I should say, of this game. Back to the line. Held in, he's played down to the half boards, now he'll walk it back up. And now he's dragged down, he's able to poke it to Lancer, Lancer back to Figurin, Figurin to Elliott, Elliott. Over to Thornburg, Thornburg looking for the cross ice pass, but he's able to dive and poke that one out with 51 seconds remaining. Now Thornburg firing this one to the empty corner. Lancer from the half boards, taken off the puck there by Alexander Hellstrom, as Arabra once again able to just fire this one down the ice, and just as they have all night long. Their penalty kill has been looking great. Thornburg, cross ice pass to Lanstrom. Lanstrom to Tenby. Tenby looking for the centering pass right out front. That one cleared away from danger, sent to the line, and just out, just out of the reach of Lanstrom. As he couldn't hold that one in. 20 seconds remaining as this one is moved back in by Brandstrom. Brandstrom has that one taken off his stick and sent all the way down the ice by Victor Ekbaum. And with nine seconds, eight seconds remaining, that should just about do it. Perhaps one last rush up the ice here from HP 71 into the offensive zone. One last opportunity as that one deflects to the corner on a broken stick attempt. And Arebro coming away with the three nothing shutout victory to break the five game losing streak. That's got to feel good. As we'll take a look now at the third period stats. And there you see HV71, just as they have all afternoon, struggling to get any kind of shots or any kind of action towards the net. Is five shots on goal in that third period. Their lowest total from the first two. Shots on goal for Arebro in that third was for 11. Miss shots were 4-2. to two. Hits were 4 nothing for HV71 in that third. Faceoffs were 12 apiece. Power plays were 1 apiece. No power play shots for HV71 on that last late attempt. Four power play shots for Arebro. However, neither of these teams, despite the fact that uh, special teams here this afternoon were very, bu very busy, neither of these teams were able to find the back of the net on the man advantage. Full game stats. Take a look now. 17 shots on goal for HV71 to Arebro's 26. Miss shots were 17 to 9. And there you see that's a good, that's credit to Arebro really taking away the shooting lanes and keeping them to the outside. 17 missed shots, and so you got to give Arebro credit. They were very good in their own zone this afternoon. Hits were six apiece, so very, well, not very physical game, I should say. Faceoffs were 34 to 32, pretty evenly matched. Power plays were 5 to 4 in favor of Arebro. Like I said, very busy day for special teams. Seven power play shots for Arebro, just two for HV71. But like I mentioned, no power play goals. So both these teams coming away with 100% penalty killing, which will be nice for Arebro as they stack that penalty killing stat of theirs, which is currently fourth overall in the league.